at this the third interpretation of double integral which is surface area so hopefully you still remember this uh uh this uh, formula so this formula is uh, uh have a different variance huh? uh, why we have this del z del x del z del y and here is one basically because we uh, project everything to x y plan so you can also uh, project to yz plan or you can have the xz plan where this integral will be slightly different. But that is very uh, uncommon. Uh, that is very uncommon. I would say it's, it's not common to do that. Okay. Uh, most of the time we project to xy plan and we have this integral uh, simply as the subject of formula, the uh, j, and we, we have this integral. So, uh, we have we have done three example on surface area so this will be the fourth one okay i think this is probably the fourth one uh, yeah and uh, yeah we have two more example before we move to triple trigger uh triple integral uh, before we move to triple integral uh, yeah before that i forgot to do record Okay, so uh, we, we start with this example. Hopefully, uh, you still remember uh, what you should do here is always uh, sketch the parabolic. Okay, so this parabolic, you, you know that it is, uh, it is not an upside down uh, because when you have uh, uh, x equal to 0 and y equal to 0, you have the value which is here 5. Okay, and when you have uh, z equal to 0, when you have j equal to zero, you have this uh, uh, circle. You can have this circle y equal uh, y power two x power two equal to five. So you, know, you roughly know that uh, here you will have uh, something like this. Okay? You will have this kind of parabolic. So since this is five, then you know that this is a sub five. This one here sub five. This is also sub five. So this is the uh, the diagram. Uh, this is the this is the uh, solid uh, for this uh, parabola. Uh, but what we are not going to what we are the surface area that uh, we are interested in is not cover all, but only above plan j equal to one. So supposingly here is j equal to one. Okay. So what we want to have here is uh, we want to find the surface area of this. Uh, we want to find the surface area of this one. Okay. So uh, this is no longer a uh, third five, okay, but uh, we have to find it uh, radius. Uh, we have to find the radius here. Uh, when j equal to one, uh, when j equal to one, you know that everything here we give you x power 2, y power 2 equal to 2 power 2. Right? You can see here because when it is 1, then you have 1 you bring to here, it will become 4. 4 is actually 2 power 2. Okay, So here is 2 and 2. Huh? Your projection region is a radius 2. Huh? Radius 2. <coughs> so with that, um, Kyobing, uh, you have anything to say? So uh, here, this is the this is the projection regions, and from here, uh, the extra um, work that you need to do is to get the del z del x, okay? To get the del z del x and also del z del y. So this is not that difficult. You know that this is negative two x and this is negative two y okay, for this. And what you can do here immediately from here, you can find the square for this. Here, it will give you 4x power 2. So if you do the same thing for uh, y, okay, for y, you will have here is 4y power 2. Okay, so in other words here, this integral later on, del z del x power 2 plus del z del y power 2 plus 1, uh, plus 1 here will be equal to 4R power 2 plus 4Y power 2 plus 1, then you have this square root. Okay, and you know that this thing you have to go for 4X uh, power 2 plus Y power 2, you can factor out the 4, 
and this adds power two plus y power two later on you change it to r power two you change it to r power two and you know that this is a circular region so projection regions in circle so we have to use r r d r d theta so the surface area the surface area on this uh, you can use a double integral so obviously from here we know that theta is from 0 to uh, 2 pi r is from 0 to 2 r is from 0 to 2 and you just have to put this into your integrand for r power 2 plus 1 and by itself you have r d r d theta and you have d r d theta So this again, we have to use uh, this uh, uh, substitution. So we have to use this substitution on uh, the substitution that we are going to use is again, uh, u equal to 4r power 2 plus 1. Am I too fast? Can you follow? Because there is... <laughs> uh, there is no student in front of me that I, I turn to go eh? uh, probably too fast, eh? a little bit fast. Okay, I'm sorry for that. Okay. Itu lah, Paris, Paris cakap agak laju ya, yeah, because <laughs> there is no student in front of me. Yeah. Okay, uh, I give you one or two more minutes up to here. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, probably after, I'm not sure whether it is because after pre-IO, then you all forgot this, how to, how to do your double integration. Okay, hopefully it is not. Okay, so you have uh, this, everything is uh, to sketch the graph of this paraboloid. Okay, and you have your, to come up with the projection regions, then do the partial differentiation. Uh, this one is very, uh, this is given in a such, in a, in a such a nice form that you can straight away do your differentiation. Object with respect to X and with respect to Y. Then when you do that, uh, uh, you notice that this is x power 2 and y power 2. You have to replace it with r power 2 and you put it as an integral like that. Okay, so I proceed with integration. When you have uh, u equal to 4r power 2 plus 1, uh, what you need to do here is, of course, is to differentiate this, du dr. So I think this we, this is the third example. We have uh, this type of uh, substitution. So here you have your at r. Okay? And you notice that this is the thing that you are going to substitute. So you may write as dr. Then you bring your du over at down here. Down here. So if you focus on this part, only the integration with u only this part okay with uh, ignore the limit uh, for the time being so what you have here is an integration u i put that as one over two okay then the dr dr is replaced by du over n du over n and this integration you will have one over at uh, as uh, the coefficient. Then this is one over two. You know that it will be u three over two divided by three over two. Huh? It is it is good that you write it in this form. Uh, instead of writing it in third, you put it in one over power one over two. And you know that it is plus, plus 1. Integration is plus 1. You have 3 over 2. And this is 3 over 2. So what, what follow here is you cancel this with this. You have a 4 here. You have a 4. 
and this everything we you have one over two u three over two three over two so in fact you know that this everything we give you i mean the integration with respect to r we give you a constant huh? Uh, there is nothing wrong if you want to write this everything uh, as a uh, constant 1 over 2 because you know that this everything u here is 4r power 2 plus 1 and you have 3 over 2 everything here your r is from 0 to 2 r is 0 from 2 you can write it this way where the remaining here will be uh, 0 to 2 pi uh, d theta so this one everything uh, later on you should you should know that this will give you uh, this everything will give you 2 pi of course you can do the, the integration where you get this one 0 by 2 pi but it is not really necessary but the answer here is 2 pi So what we do here is to put two into this R. So be very careful when you put this two, or when you put this two and also zero. When you put this two into here, you know that two power two is four. Four multiplied with four is 16. 16 plus one is 17. So you have 17, three over two. Minus something, I repeat. When you put 2 into here, you have 2 power 2, uh, 4, 4 multiplied with 4 is 16, plus 1, you have 17. You have 17, so 17, 3 over 2. But when you put into 0, it is not always 0, because 0 only here will be 0, and this will be 1 power 3 over 2, and you don't have to write 1 power 3 over 2. Huh? You may just write 1, because you know that 1 power anything will be still 1. So this is what you have, uh, 2 pi. Okay, in fact, I accept this answer. Okay, if you put it as this answer, I accept. Or you can also simplify. Okay, uh, this is 2, this is this becomes 6. So you can simplify this. And here as well, um, you just simplify 2 and 12. Okay, you make it become 6. And this one here, of course, if you want to leave it in this form, you can. Or this is actually, uh, third, uh, if you consider 2 here, you have third 17. And then you have third 17 power 3. So you have 3 of this third 17. You have 3 of third 17. No? I repeat. If 17 power 2, then you know that it is 17 multiplied with 17 multiplied with 17. But now you have 17 3 over 2. You should know that this is a third 17 multiplied 3 times. Multi multiplied by itself 3 times. Okay, 2 times. Then it is minus 1. Of course, these two will give you 17, and that is why you have this result. Huh? That is why you have that result, which is 1 over 6. And then here, 17, 17 minus 1, 5. Of course, you can put it as unit power 2, but it is not that important. Okay, is that okay? I gave you one to two minutes to either print screen this or you, 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 you copy down this. Uh, thank you for the response from Veronica and Wong Guan Ting.
Okay, uh, how that you practice this uh, kind of question uh, a few times because uh, usually you will have at least one, 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 one such question in your either in your test two or your final exam, or your final exam. So we move on to this. Uh, this question is given uh, the surface probably uh, probably is something uh, not that common to you when you see this surface. Okay? Uh, but uh, the projection region is given is in x equal to 1 and uh, 0 and 1 and y is from 0 to 4. And I purposely include this to discuss because it involves a uh, very special type of integration oh, but luckily this the things is given you 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 must use it you must use the trigonom inverse trigonometry to solve your integration later on um we look at this surface of probably is something uh, not that common to you but if you uh for if you power to both sides if you power to both sides so what you can see here, it is z power 2, okay, is equal to 4 minus x power 2. Then it's just uh, x power 2 plus z power 2 equal to 2 power 2. So it is x power 2 plus z power 2 equal to 2 power 2. You know that uh, it should not, you should not read it as a circle, uh, a circle, but it is a cylinder. So it is a cylinder with no y, uh, meaning to say that it is a cylinder parallel to y. Parallel to y. So parallel to y, in other words, is uh, something like this. Okay. It is a circle parallel to y. Uh, sorry, cylinder parallel to y. And you should know that uh, this is 2, this is 2, huh? 2, 2. So what we want to find is only the surface that lie above this xy plane with whose the coordinate certify this. So in other words, here, this is already telling you that uh, the projection regions because uh, I do use this. So here, let's say this is one. Uh, let's say this is your four. Okay, then this is your projection region this projection regions uh we tell you that this is a projection region something like this if this is your x this is your y so this is four and one four and one okay uh, but you don't actually need this uh projection region because this will give you the limit for your double integral okay so uh to highlight the surface area i'm uh, using this pink color it is actually a surface somewhere here okay but of course we cannot draw it very uh on the proper scale uh, so roughly it is the surface area that we are interested to find only this surface area which is lie above or exactly this this is a cylinder the curvy linear surface uh, where we only focus on one two four uh, for x is for for x one up to one and y up to four So what we need to do here uh, is to differentiate this, uh, differentiate this uh, 4 minus x power 2, everything power, uh, power 1 over 2. We put it third become 1 over 2 so that you have, when you find the del z del x, okay, it is 1 over 2, everything, this 1 minus 1, it become negative 1 over 2. What you need to do is to differentiate what this we respect to uh, x. So we respect to x. So here you will have negative 2x. 
So what is inside the bracket will be this one. With this one and you have you can cancel this with this and you can cancel with that again i will write it in this form negative x over third four minus x power two Okay, uh, thank you uh, for response from Veronica and also who else? Is it Rebecca? Uh, Kelvin Wong, uh, any, do you have any question to ask? No, so far, okay, sir. Okay, good. So, uh, what we do here is we uh, power to both sides. Uh, of course you can power two directly uh here of course of course you need to power to this but uh so but you just focus on this uh, you may rewrite everything here as delta del x power two equal to this you have the x power two and here when you power to this uh the third is added uh, you get rid of this third so you have four minus x power two four minus x power two and from here, yeah, 4 minus x power 2. If you go for del z, del y, okay, you should know that there is no y here, then you give, you have 0, and even though you power to it, you still have 0. Huh? You still have 0. But there is one extra step that you need to do if you find this. Huh? If you go to find, uh, to collect everything and you put it as one. Okay, an extra step that you need to do is this is 4 minus x power 2. Then here is 0, here is 1. So what I mean by extra step, uh, I think I will use red color or even what color. So I will use this red color so that you know that the extra step that we do here is actually uh, equating the denominator. Okay, so this is a very important step. You have to equating this with the same denominator because this is one. You equating the denominator so that this everything become 4 minus x power 2 as the same denominator. This one you have x power 2 plus 4 minus x power 2 and then this is square root. In other words here you should be able to see here this and this can be cancelled. So this uh, equating denominator step is very important. Huh? It is very important for you to uh, simplify this for you to simplify this so that you can uh, uh, use this uh, uh, inverse trigonometry later on. Okay. So of course you can put it uh, you not only uh, equating denominator you can actually split the this uh, third into two. Uh, here we have the 2 because this is third 4, you know that it is 2. Then here you have the 4 minus x power 2. Huh? So this look much more simple compared to here. Okay, so with that, we can uh, go for the integration. So the surface area, it is given by uh, this interval. Uh, so this is given uh, 
So in this case, we will go for for x first. Huh? We will go for x first. X is from zero to one. Oh, you know that you should go for x first on y later because uh, y you don't see any y here. Huh? You don't see any y here. So here you have two third four minus x power two uh, dx dy. Yeah? Remember we use dx dy even though this is a circular. Uh, this is cylinder circular region. Uh, uh, because the projection region is square, so we use a uh, rectangular coordinate. So for this, of course, you can use your calculator. You can use your calculator, but I'm not sure probably your calculator, you have to wait for, for quite some time in order to get answer. You, in fact, you can use calculator. So, or you can use uh, this, uh, uh formula way of course here nothing is means that it is one then what you need to choose here is actually a power two so if this is one i can what you can do here you can add, in fact factor out these two i'll put it here then you need to find the a here actually refer to uh this is two power two so in other words here your a is equal to two a your a is equal to two then you can use directly into here you can use directly into here where this everything will equal to sine inverse then you have your x over two over two and from zero to one from zero to one and you have your y from 0 to 4, y from 0 to 4. Okay, uh, so this one we substitute uh, carefully here. You can have your, if you substitute one into here, you have inverse sine one over two, and you have substitute zero into here, you have sine zero huh? dy. Sorry, inverse sine, I miss out the inverse. So you may use your calculator or you can understand this, uh, I mean, doing somewhere else here. And you say that this is your, uh, you, you do not know what, what value, let's say your alpha value, if you have the sine inverse 1 over 2, which is in fact, is actually sine alpha equal to 1 over 2. So when, when sine uh, what what is the angle what is the value that we give you one over two which is 0 0.5 for sine uh, it is uh it is 30 degree can't remember yeah you may use your calculator i i'm i believe that it is uh 30 degree so which is pi over yeah pi over 6, huh? 30 degree is pi over 6. So this will give you 0. This will give you 0. Uh, because sine 0 is 0. Huh? Basically, basically what you can think of this one. Of course, if you have calculator, you can go for that. Psi beta, what is the value for your beta? And you know that it is 0. Okay. So with that, you have your... How come my answer is not correct? Zero to one. Oh yeah, I forgot something. I missed something. I forgot to put in here a two. I should put a two here. I should put a two. Huh? Just now I, I bring two out. I forgot to put back. So if you put back that two, you should arrive at this one, which is 
2 and you have your pi over 6. So this everything is integration from 0 to 4 to y, uh, dy, sorry, dy. You know that this everything will give you 4. Uh, this everything will give you 4. And then if you combine this few, you should arrive at the answer here, which is uh, uh, 4 over 3 pi, uh, 4 over 3 pi. So of course, you need square. Okay, uh, thank you for response from Quan Ting. So as I say, this again tell you that uh, the three challenges in this uh, topic, multiple integral, one is sketching graph. Okay, uh, here this this one, this uh, surface area you need, sometimes you, you may have to be very careful on in doing this one. Huh? You have to be very careful on doing this to find the correct integrand. Because otherwise, uh, if, if your integrand are not is not correct, so whatever you in you integrate later on is also not correct. Okay, so then you uh, this limit is very easy. The second challenge is very easy, but to solve this uh, uh, integration is not that easy. Uh, even though it is just a, a one variable. Uh, integration single variable integration it is not that easy for you to do yeah, be very careful just now i i forgot this too okay so this is the last example uh, for double integral we will not go to this huh? we will not go to the rest of mass volume center of mass or central and everything uh, because they are more uh, very engineering uh, as well as this one, huh? we are not in. We are just focused on the first interpretation for our double integral, as well as later on for the triple integral. We just focus on volume. Huh? The rest we are not going to go for that. Is that okay? So I give you one, uh, one thirty second to try to. If you need to print screen, please, or you need to copy that all. So after after this one, I will I will uh, we 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 will go for triple integral. We go for triple integral. Okay. So some response from you. Then uh, meaning to say that I can move to the next uh, triple integral. So um, from this. Moving from double integral and triple integral uh, is actually uh, not much, okay? Not much. Uh, not much different. Uh, you, you just simply extend that to J and you have your, for, for cylindrical coordinate, uh, if you look at cylindrical coordinate, it is exactly, it is exactly the polar coordinate, okay? Plus the Z. You have your polar coordinate on the xy plane, then you have an extra uh, parameter to deal with, which is z parameter, which is z. Okay, so it's exactly the extension from this uh, polar co coordinate. You add another z in, then you get your cylindrical coordinate. Okay. So then uh, the last, the third uh, coordinate is spherical coordinate. You have the slightly different parameter way, way I'm going to explain later on uh, when, we, when we come to this spherical coordinate. Okay, so today we mainly go for Cartesian coordinate where it's just a stand to Z. Huh? Everything from here is extend to Z. So later on for the cylindrical coordinate, you also extend to, extend uh, has have an extra parameter which is Z. So we have one example that this example is actually revisit. Uh, we find the volume. Huh? We find the volume for this. Uh, I have to remind you two things for this uh, uh, volume. We put here as one for triple integral. We put here as one. Nothing here meaning that the integral is actually one. So uh, if we put it as one, it is volume. If we put some other things, uh, let's say if we put here as uh, x or whatever here, 
Okay, we do the triple integral. It is not, okay, you cannot interpret as volume. Uh, of course, there are some other interpretation that uh, we can go for that, but I tell you that I'm go we, we are not going to this, 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 we are not going to discuss. So that's the first thing. Uh, one here for volume. Uh, this is not for others. Then uh, the dv here, it can have a dz, dx, uh, dz, dz, dy, dx, etc. So etc. here meaning to say that there are all together six different possibilities for you to go for that. Okay, hopefully you can see here, this is the first one. Then you can also go for the dz, then you go for the x first, they go for the y. Okay, of course, not only that, you can go for the x and you can go for the y, go for the z, and so on. There are all different so six uh, different orders, different orders for this, for that. Okay, uh, you can go for uh, any of them, or right? we give you the same answer. Okay? But of course, many times we project it everything to Z, S, and Y plan. So in most of the time, our most inner integration will be DZ. Right? The most inner one, in most of the time, will be DZ. And we can choose either go for the uh, y first or x first. It very much depends on whether we use horizontal stripe or vertical stripe. So this question is exactly the same as the one that we have in uh, a second example in, in double integral. So you may always refer to that, uh, but I will go very quickly on this. Okay, hopefully you can still remember that this. Uh, you have to to put it as x power z equal to four. Then you know that this is uh, all first. This is the uh, triangular plan. Okay, at this uh, okay triangular plan. But we are not going to go for all. We are only focus on x equal to two up to two and y up to one. Okay, and you can have your volume something like this. So these are the verb the, the is similar to, I mean, quite similar to a piece of cat. So that's the volume that we want to part. Okay. Then I simply use B for volume. Okay, of course I write down, I write down O. So now you can have all this, or you can have all this here. Uh, I start here is one, then you have your jet. Y or, y or X is depend on no? whether you want to go for Y, we go for X. Okay, but it, it is already given. No? I think you can go for, uh, I go for X first, okay, and then go for Y. No, it doesn't matter if you want to go for Y first. So X is from 0 to 2, and Y is from 0 to 1. The projection region is not necessary here because it's already given. Uh, what we want, uh, extra thing we need to add here is jack. Okay, add jack starting from zero. Then you have the jack go to this surface huh? because you know that this surface is given by four minus x minus y. So jack is equal to four minus x minus y. So that's it for the triple. Uh, integral we get we, we we go for that and you can you can do this integration easily if you just come uh, go for here you have your j is from 0 to 4 minus x minus y you know that this everything is 4 minus x minus y And if you put this everything into uh, 0 to 1, 0 and 2, 4 minus x minus y, ds dy. So if you put back this everything, uh, you put your jet into here, then you notice that this double integral is exactly the, the same as what we had before. Okay, same as double integral. in example 2.
if you can go to the example two, the, the previous, uh, uh, the example two in the double integral is exactly the same. Okay? It's exactly the same. So I'm not going to do, to show this to you. You can do it yourself and you should arrive at the answer here, which is five units uh, cube, huh? five unit cube. So this is the on this is the uh the only one example that we discussed for I think we we will go for cylindrical coordinate later on. Okay. So nothing much idea as I say uh we just extend this okay, uh instead of using uh a double integral uh, instead of finding the volume okay with double integral where you put your jet here and this is your whatever your da. Okay, you put your jet here, but now we put one here. If you're using triple integral, you put one. Okay, so you, you have to find the limit for your jet. In this case, it's very straightforward. Or you can even use a 3D, 3D stripe to say that it's leave, enter here, and then leave here in order for you to get jet is from zero to jet equal to four minus x, uh, minus y minus uh, x minus x minus y. You can use that idea, a 3D stripe. Okay, but what is good uh, on this uh, triple in integral compared to double integral? Okay, uh, if if you if you want to focus, if you only want to focus your this piece of care, uh, it's very bad. I have to rewrite that, redraw this everything. Okay, if, if you are interested to find something probably cutting at z equal to one, okay, instead of this, if you want to find this cutting on this part, this part, if you want to focus on this only, okay, uh, here up to one, then you can easily change this z into one, okay, from one up to here. Oh, it's very convenient for you to do this in triple integral. But imagine that if you are using double integral, it is not straightforward. Oh, you have to use two z function, the z first one minus the second one in order to to I I, I not 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 sorry not not to say that it's, it's not finding this one. You have to use two double integral, and you have to minus this one something from another double integral from another double integral where you are using two different jet here okay uh for your function which is not that easy because this this function we are we do not know okay we do not know so uh what i want to tell you is that a triple integral to five volume sometimes is more convenient than double integral it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that triple integral is more difficult of course probably it's more the integration that you need to do uh it, it is in fact more convenient. This is what I want to say. Okay, so I will pause this for a while, pause it, and uh, uh, we, we have a break for five minutes, okay, so that you can have a break, a okay, toilet break, and uh, if you need to scan your QR attendance, uh, yeah. So we come back again, come back again on your, uh, after five minutes.
All right. Oh, uh, we will continue. So we we'll continue with this uh, triple triple integral in a cylindrical coordinate. So as you can see here, uh, it is it is actually uh, it is actually uh, only uh, you need to add in this dj you need to add in this dj uh, but i'm slightly difficult for me to explain this extra thing uh, later on i'll come back to here and if you look at the cartesian coordinate as tend to cylindrical coordinate the only difference here is you have this huh? you have your z is score for z okay the rest are the same okay so i think uh for this, it is not that difficult for you to uh, understand, okay, uh, a cylindrical coordinate. But I have to remind you this cylindrical coordinate is the, it's, it's not as the name suggested. You have to, you can only use for cylinder. It is not, okay. So the cylinder here, uh, for this example, we have cylinder as this one. So you may write down, you may sketch the cylinder as uh, x power 2 apply y, y power 2 equal to 9. So here you can have this, something like this. And you have the 3 here, 3 here, x and y and z. So uh, this is a cylinder, horizontal cylinder, uh, hypothetical cylinder. There is no jet here. And what we want to find is the volume between z equal to 1. And you should know that 1 is some, somewhere here. z equal to 1, z equal to 1, and s plus z equal to 5. Okay, s plus j equal to 5. If you have x plus y equal to 5, then you know that it, it is a linear line. So this is x plus j equal to 5. I, let's say that my, my 5 is here. Let's say my, my, my j equal to 5 is here. Then I actually have the... Uh, I'm going to... It's not very... Uh, pro, it's not very... Uh, let's say, let's simply say like that. Well, of course, it's not in the proper scale. Uh, I didn't draw in proper scale. It's difficult for me to draw, but you know that x plus y plus z equal to 5 will give you a, a plan like that. Huh? It gives you a plan like that. So the surface, uh, the volume that we interested to do is only this volume. Huh? It's only this volume. So I may I may write, I may draw again this somewhere, somewhere in here, somewhere here, so that uh, you can see that uh, it is a it is a cylinder, something like this. Okay, something like this. And here uh, you know that it is three at three. So here is five. Is it okay? So with, with this uh, 3D uh, solid, it come together with a 2D graph or 2D projection readings. No matter how this, or whether it is inclined or not, okay, you know that the projection region is just a circle with radius 3. With radius 3. So this diagram, this 3D solid together with this projection readings, we tell you that uh we, we we you can easily determine the r and theta on the limit for r and theta i just put it here so from here from this this circle you know that it is from zero to two pi and the r here it is from zero to three yeah? remember it is from zero to three so the extra things that you want, you need to, uh, you, you can write your DR, D, DRD theta already here as it is polar coordinate. 
Okay. So the extra extra on this cylindrical coordinate is just you have to add a interval for the jet. Okay, your interval for the jet. So where the jet is from here up to here. So so this is very straightforward. Jet is from one uh, up to this one. Uh, up to this equation. This equation is given by jet equal to phi minus x. Jet equal to phi minus x. Is it okay? So use usually up to here, uh, you can get uh, one mark for the diagram, one mark for the projection regions, the solid, I mean the limit for theta, limit for R, and you use the correct uh, cylindrical coordinate, coordinate together with one. And we didn't write anything here, one. But for the Z one, you need to have an extra wall where you need to change your X, okay? Because we are, we cannot, we, there is no X parameter here. You have to change your X into, according to this one, which is R cos theta. You have to change your X into R cos theta. Then you have another max for that. Okay, uh, the Z cannot, in, in internal of x huh? because we do not have parameter x here so we have parameter r theta and z only Okay, so uh, you can do your integration. Uh, we focus on this only, okay? Uh, we focus on this. So you can have your j from one to uh, phi minus r cos theta. Uh, of course, this one, it will give you phi minus r cos theta minus one, where you have a four minus R cos theta. So once you have this four minus R cos theta, you can put it into here. The integration will become zero to uh, two pi R zero to three. So remember, we still have one R here. So this everything will become 4R minus R power 2 cos theta dr d theta. So be very careful, don't forget this R here. I think I highlight that with a red color, R. You can focus on this part only. Where this everything will be uh, four r power two over two minus r power three over three cos theta. It is from zero to three. So with that, you can have your three putting in two here, but of course this is just two. It is three power two, or you may cancel this if you want. Cancel this with this, you have two. So you put three in two here, you have nine. Nine multiplied with two is eighteen. So eighteen minus, so this is three power three is 27, divided by three is uh, nine, cos power two theta. And zero, you don't have to consider because you know all the rest, all rest, the others will be zero. 
So this is the integration you need to perform for theta. You may compare your answer with my answer. Uh, in this, you get actin theta minus uh, negative cos, you get positive, uh, you get negative sign, huh? you get negative sign. So everything from 0 to 2 pi. And you may substitute this to actin 2 pi. So the rest, if you substitute with 2 pi, the rest you know it is 0. So this is also 0. So final answer here is 36 pi uh, unit chill. Is that okay? Yeah, thank you from Veronica. All of you must be very happy that you can have your online class again uh, at your uh, at your at at your comfortable home. So why, Rebecca, you are not happy? Very comfortable, eh? yeah. You don't, uh, you can at your home, I mean, at your home without mask, okay, even you have copy in front of you. Yeah. Okay, uh, just to give you some idea, uh, if you do this, what else, okay? Of course, when you cause, you go for a negative sign, it's another mark. So the rest will be uh, one, one more mark. So it can be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven at marks question. Any question on cylindrical coordinate? I'm not sure how many questions that we have for cylindrical. Yeah, we have a few more, yeah. Okay, but the ideas is not uh, much different from polar coordinate, okay? So let's move to the next question, next example. So uh, what, what I want to summarize on this is uh, uh, most probably the, the most challenging part for this question is again, sketch the 3D graph. If you are not able to sketch the correct solid, then you probably has a little bit uh, difficulties in getting the correct limit. Okay, and uh, for this cylindrical coordinate or, or even for polar coordinate, what you need to do here is always use the conversion formula. Or make sure that you change your x to r cos theta. If you proceed with x here, definitely your, your integration will be out. Okay. Uh, and also don't forget this r, okay, this r here, uh, way, uh, way, uh, it, it can come after you consider the deep integrate uh, your check. Okay, uh, and here I say etc. Basically, is you can choose your project everything to x y plan. Then here you go for d z. So you can also go for d y d x if you project to some other plan. If you project to x z plan, you choose this for the d z. If you project to uh, uh, y z plan, then you have your dx here. So as I try here, there are three different versions for trip for cylindrical coordinate. But in many cases, in, in many times, we go for this uh, x y plan, and we have the dz here. Uh, these two are very, uh, these two are not common. Huh? These two are not common. Okay. Two example. Two example. These two example are very similar. 
oh, and the answer, the answer are so uh, accidentally are the same. Okay, yeah, quickly go for the solid, huh? sketch the solid. It is x power 2 plus y power 2. So it is a standard paraboloid. X, Y, and Z. And this is this paraboloid as is actually extend to the positive infinity, but we want to have bounded at z equal to 4. So the z equal to 4 show you that this is uh, uh, the projection region is a bit at this uh, 2. Okay, so because when z is equal to 4, you have a circle with, sand, with radius 2. Uh, circle with radius 2. Then you can easily uh know that okay the the limit for theta is from zero to two pi and your arrow here is from zero to two so j here uh you may you may you may use uh what you call a 3d stripe here to to help you uh, you see here enter here leave here so enter at this which is uh, this one and leave at z equal to 4 which is this one okay you can write here as z is from x power 2 to y power 2 and z equal to 4 okay then you integrate with respect to z R D R D theta. This integration is not that difficult to uh, to integrate, but you have to you need to change this. Okay, you need to change this. Remember, x power two uh, y power two cannot be used. You have to change this to r power two. Uh, you have to change this to r power two. Then the rest of integration, you should be able to do that. Okay, so you may just do it and compare your answer with my answer. Uh, this this writing are not very uh, it's, it's not the correct writing uh, by right you have to every time you have to write this double integral then you put it do a slightly uh, changes on the most inner integration uh, but I, I I do not go for that you are, you are allowed to do this something like this huh? uh, but uh, hopefully uh, you do it uh, very very your writing should be clear enough for me to read okay. So this type of question usually here one mark for this, one mark for this, one, two, three, four, and then last one. Okay, oh Kelvin Wong, thank you for your response.
So hopefully you can follow and you are uh, still fresh to go for a, a few more examples. Okay, for example B, for example B, what we 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 do here, uh, the the parabola is still the same, but now we want to have we want to find the volume of the solid bounded by this parabola, parabola below by x y plane and the side by the cylinder x power two y power two equal to four. So the extra one is only this part. No, you you can probably add a uh, um. Uh, for question B, you may probably add a, a cylinder like that. Here is two and two. Okay, uh, it still gives you this projection region, still the same. Uh, but the only thing here is now you are focusing on this part, or rather than just now, it's actually this. Huh? It's actually this this part. Now is this. Is it okay? Hopefully you can see the difference exactly the same, uh, but it's only this part is different. So I have to reduce the size of this so that I can write here for question number B. There are the same as said, uh, the projection region is still the same. So you have 0 to 2 pi. R is from 0 to 2, and this one here, here you have uh, this. Uh, you have this go enter here, leave here. So it enter at z equal to 0, and leave at z equal to this part, which is x power 2 plus y power 2, and the rest are still the same dz, r, d, r, d, theta. Uh, but don't forget you have to change this to r power 2 and the rest are the same okay the rest are the same you may compare your answer again uh, with my answer so you can see slightly different here this is from r power 2 to 4 but now the question b is from 0 to r power 2 from 0 to r power 2 and the rest are more or less the same okay? so just compare your answer with my answer Again, we have answer f by unit power three. Okay, thank you for response from Guan Ting. For Veronica, so 
So I give you 20 seconds to uh, finish your work. Uh, before I forgot, uh, for next, uh, for Thursday class, uh, we will use different link. Uh, it can be assessed in this uh, under multiple integral, under multiple integral. So this is to that link. Uh, so that later on, I can pause the pre uh, recorded uh, uh, lecture here. So for this, for this coming Thursday, we use this one. Uh. Is that okay? Yeah, we use this one for this coming Thursday, yeah, starting at 10. Okay, then we have uh, another two examples, which is changing coordinate. And then later on, yeah, we have another two examples for changing coordinate. So why we need to change coordinate? Because uh, if you if you if you continue this in x y x y z plan uh, x y z it is very difficult that you have so many search here. Uh, then this search everything will tell you that of course you can observe okay, the 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 z okay this is for z so this is for z this is for x and this is for y. So you can see here your z is moving from zero to z equal to. 4 minus x minus y power 2 and your x is from 0 to x equal to 1 minus y power 2 uh, y is from 0 to y equal to 1 y equal to 1 so read very carefully on the order of this z and x and y uh, from the first one from the first one you should know that this is a upper hemisphere from no from here, you should know that this is an upper hemisphere. In a way, you know that the radius is equal to 2. So you can have a solid like that. Okay, But that is not that important. Huh? The upper hemisphere is not that important. Okay, So what is important here is we only focus huh, on this part, not on these two. What is important here is only focus on this. And from this alone, you know that it didn't tell you that this is a positive square roof, positive square roof. And from here as well, you can, if you square root both sides, you have 1 x power 2 equal to y, 1 minus y power 2, which is equal to this, which is equal to a radius uh, center at 1. As an, uh, radius 1, center 0, 0, where you have a circle like this. 1 and 1, plus negative 1 and negative 1. At set 1. So this cylindrical coordinate of this and this the same thing because the integrand here it is not one. So you cannot say it is you cannot interpret that as volume or just a triple integral equation. Uh, then from this, okay, uh, this this diagram are actually not uh it's actually not needed. Huh? Uh, we, we, what is important is only the projection regions rather than a 3D 3D uh, graph. Uh, but here you can see here from x is from 0 to 1 here, this positive square root means that this part. Oh, I hope you can still remember the one that now I highlight this. So this is for x equal to 1 minus y power 2.
Okay, so as is from zero to this part here, uh, if you consider this only, then we actually cons we have this this all, but uh, we have to consider why the the interval for y simultaneously y is from zero to one, meaning that this part. As you as you know that here for this we have a polar in polar coordinate we do have something like this so you have to be very careful on this so you have this positive square root. Uh, what we are going to do from here straight away from here you know your theta later on is from zero to pi over two and your r here is from zero to one. Huh? It's from zero to one. Then with that, we can write this, uh, you have to write this question, the triple integral. Everything now is equal to uh, this integration from 0 to pi over 2 and r from 0 to 1. r from 0 to 1. And then you have your theta, uh, sorry, you have this j. So j here is from 0. So I will straight away change this uh, thing, change this to uh, putting a plus here, everything, change this to R power. I change R power to, so you can have your 4 minus R power to square root. By itself, you have a Z, then you have DZ, R, DR, D theta. If you arrive at this, uh, you already have four marks, one marks for your diagram, uh, one, 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 uh, because this diagram is actually not, uh, you can draw it to understand it, but it's a, it's, it does not help you in, it, in, in changing this to cylindrical coordinate. And also here, everything you use this uh, cylindrical coordinate. So our next task is just to uh, is just to solve this integration. The uh, way we are lucky because this with this together, uh, you have your jet power two over two, and it is from zero to four minus r power two, and this one over two you can in fact factor out. Okay, one over two. So whatever remain here. It is for 0 to 1 for your uh, ra radius. Whatever remain here, because this is already power 2, so it is so nice that you have uh, 4 minus r power 2, you get rid of this uh, square root. And this everything, you have another r here. Don't forget this r, everything d r d theta. Okay, so this part you can use calculator if you want. Okay, or you can put it here, uh, remember to multiply in here. So that's why I have 4 r power 2 over 2 minus r power 3 over 3. And it is from 0 to 1. Uh, this you have to do it very careful. Two one, two one here, and then minus one over three. You know that this is uh, the answer will be five over three. Okay, you have one over two. Then here is five over three. This everything should give you. Uh, this everything should give you pi over 2.
Oh, very bad. I forgot to multiply this in. So I think I made a mistake here. You have to multiply. So this is not power 3. It should be power 4 now. It should be power 4. Make a mistake here. So no wonder I can't arrive at that answer. Uh, it is power 4. Huh? So just now I skipped one step. So I made a mistake. Huh? I should put it here become uh, this should become, I should put it here in become 4R minus R power 3, then I only integrate. So just now I try, I try to skip this one and I made mistake here. So if you have this one now, hopefully this is the correct answer. You have 1 over 4. So this gives you 7 over 4. Uh, at 7 over 16, yeah, correct now. So we arrive at this everything as 7 over 16 pi. Uh, you don't have to write unit power 3 because it is not a volume. Is that okay? Any question on this? I will most probably start after this question. Uh, after this example, I'm not go to. I'm not going to go for B. Uh, we we discuss it. Uh, this coming Thursday. Is it okay? So, any question on this? Or oh, hopefully you keep yourself motivated, uh, even though you are uh, have your very comfort job. And don't forget to do your assignment one. Uh, assignment one. Uh, and how was your your test one question? Is that okay for you? I I was I was not around. Remember, I remember that I I have to take emergency leave, so that's why I asked my. Uh, student, uh, postgraduate student to help me to invite that. Uh, yeah, make mistake. I, oh, I, I have a mark yet. Okay, uh, for this, yeah. okay, uh, so now you focus on your. I, I, uh, what I want to tell you is to share with you that many of your seniors they can score well in test one. Uh, because it is first, first uh, this partial differentiation, partial derivative, and also this multiple uh, a multi multi variable function. But when it come to second chapter, this uh, multiple integral is really test. Uh, I mean, uh, test the amount of the exercise that you do. It is no more, no longer a, a online test. So it is not an open book test. It is a physical test later on so you have you really have to be uh, you really need to do some exercise the question will be more or less the same as the one that you see here and uh, the surface area and so on it's exactly the same I didn't modify at all uh, the, the, the numbers I give you copy and paste use the same question that probably discussed in uh, the lecture in the in uh, the same question that you discussed in in lectures and also in the module okay so we'll be exactly the same so you need to do some exercise so that this this is the best time that in uh in 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 the coming week you have semester break so it's the best time that you do you complete this you do some exercise for this double integral is it okay so i think i stop here so all of you have uh, no problem with your qi attendance right? or you have signed your qi attendance right any any manual attendant requests I will not entertain uh, after after this uh, because it's difficult for me to to check whether you are really online or not. Okay, if no question, that uh, assignment one, uh, yeah, Patrick. So what's what's your question?
you may you may turn on your mics and then you just verbally ask a question if you want rather than uh typing uh hello sir can yeah, you yeah. hear me okay yeah, yeah. um the topics that you gave us right do we need to explain every single chapter or no 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 it's no. not for you to ask no the, the topic is just a suggestion ah okay it's just a suggestion that you choose one of them it's not going because you are you have only one page there is uh not too wide area that you can cover so you have to focus on one topic and then you have to add the certain amount of this component or element in this course into machine learning or data science or whatever so it's like how does it apply to both machine learning and data science not, not really not not really both it is separate it can be separate oh, okay it can be separate not, not really uh, so i know that this is uh uh as I, as I say there is a big gap in between what you learn in mathematics or especially what you learn in your old uh, lectures and to apply that there is a big gap so hopefully this assignment at least you know you are forced to do yourself uh, what you call exploration to explore whatever material provided uh, in the web and so that you come up with your own understanding a, a brief very brief report is only one page right okay and there is another question am i answer your question and Faris asked about assignment one. Do we need to choose one of the topic in that in, include uh, only one topic? If one topic only, yeah. If I choose probability, do I need to include Jacobian? Yes, okay. If you choose probability, okay, uh, you, you can include Jacobian Hessians uh, if there is uh, any, uh, if there is a link in between that. Okay, I'm not sure whether you can find that. Okay, uh, in 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 what sort of probability? Of course, this is not in uh, introductory to pro uh, probability. It might be something uh, more challenging that you require you to use Jacobian Hessians or, or or Jacobian or the Hessians. Is it okay, Farish? Yeah. It's only one topic. Huh? You, there is no way for you to go for all because you are only given one page or add in supplementary function, uh, trust supplementary material if you want. So this is the best time, I guess, I, I guess uh, for you to complete your assignment, even though you are, uh, I, I, you, it's very easy for us, for, for all of us to communicate right, across the border. Okay, uh, I think that's all for today. So you may leave this platform now. Uh, still, uh, Hopefully you can, uh, I, I hope you still uh, take good care of yourself, okay, and COVID is still around, okay, yeah. Okay, bye-bye.